Hello. It is April 17th, 2021. So it's a new day, which means a new video. And this one is, well, it's just kind of unfortunate. So this particular story, uh, the events that are included within actually occurred a few days earlier than April 17th, but it was an East Coast story that happened out of New York. And so some stories like that, it takes a couple of days for it to slowly pepper West. So it didn't really start showing up in local papers until April 17th, at least on the West Coast. So as I said, this story takes us to New York, New York City. And there were three young, young, they're referred to as youths, their ages weren't really given. But there were three young men named Jacob Berger, William Adams, and William Bittis. And they were, I mean, to put it bluntly, they were described in the aftermath of their actions as mad dogs. They were this mad dog gang. So these three young guys got it into their head to commit a robbery, but something even more sinister than just that alone. Merry Christmas. Sorry, you can't pass up that opportunity. So these three young guys either got it into their head or got information from somebody or overheard something that there was a woman in their area named Esther Solomon, who was 68 years old and apparently had 5,000 bucks on her, which you go back this far in time, 5,000 bucks. That's a pretty good chunk of cash. Definitely enough to motivate some young guys to rob the place. However, when these three madmen, mad dogs, arrived at Solomon's home, they, you know, brutally, you know, beat and butchered her to death. Now, a lot of the local articles were somewhat vague on the details. So I can't say personally from my place, and again, this is how I like to kind of keep these videos is keeping them in the vein of the information that I did find on that specific day. If it's a big enough story, I'll cover it. Um, I might even do, there's already like two or three things that I've stumbled onto looking for content on this channel that I'm planning on doing bigger videos for on my main channel. See the amateur historian, there's a little plug for you. But in the case of Esther Solomon, I don't know if, you know, what happened, like that was their full intent, like they intended to just go there, do that and steal the money. Or if perhaps she put up a struggle and they, tried to fend her off or being young guys that really didn't know how to engage in criminal activity they just kind of went a little too far I really don't know the circumstances but really the focus of this story and what makes it so interesting um, I mean isn't really the events because an elderly woman being butchered is not interesting in any way shape or form but it's more the uh, to a degree the karma that these three young men received. And I didn't stumble onto the story as a, as a little column in a local newspaper initially. I stumbled onto it as a photograph with a little uh, headline directly above it that explained what happened. And there was an image of one of the young men, specifically William Bittis, being led off by police. Because obviously they were caught, because they were young and they were dumb, but they, broke in there and went through all that nonsense looking for this big score is five thousand dollars and instead all they could find in the house was a grandiose 
34 cents. That is all they came away with after all of that. So you can call that karma, <laughs> I guess. Because when you do something like that and you come away, you know, it's almost laughable when you expect to come away with something so big and then you come away with practically nothing. 34 cents, even way back in the day, that's not that much money. And the guys were apprehended and they were, I'm actually kind of surprised they weren't sentenced to worse considering the actions they engaged in. They were sentenced to 50 years in prison. 50 years in prison for 34 cents. Crime doesn't pay. Sometimes. So in the end, a very sad, tragic story, something that shouldn't have happened. You know, three young men going in and brutally murdering an elderly woman who maybe wouldn't have even had the strength to even go hand to hand with one of them, all for some money. These guys were mad dogs when all is said and done. And you know, they, they got their just desserts for it. They got a long time in prison for a loot that equaled to like 11.3333 cents if you divvied out what they came away with between the three men. So, screw them. I hope they had a rough time in prison and they had to learn some life lessons very quickly. I mean, that would have been, you know, again, it says these guys were youths. I didn't see any ages given, but I mean, they were probably in their middle teens. So you think about it, these guys are gonna be in their 60s, pushing 70 at least by the time they got out of prison, assuming they didn't get paroled or anything. But for a crime like this, and with the prison system not being as willing in certain circumstances to parole people as they are, say today, or even 30, 40 years ago, yeah, they probably spent a good chunk of their lives in prison. And they earned it by their actions. So that's the moral of today's video. Don't kill people for money. It makes you a terrible person. And there's really no way for you to argue your way out of that fact. So if you come away with nothing else, come away with that as a moral. Hopefully you already knew that information before I had to come and tell it to you. If you didn't realize that until I told you, well, I, I don't know. You probably need, need a little bit of help. And you, on the other hand, is a dark twist. You can help me <laughs> by uh, liking this video. I got a whole bunch of videos on this channel. I got over a month's worth of content every single day. Um, so by liking this video, subscribing to my channel, uh, sharing my content around if you so desire, hitting up my Patreon is a major help to me. It allows me to do more content. And I'm always posting you know, new stuff there. So benefits you and me. The link to my Patreon is in the description below as well as the links to my Instagram and Facebook pages closely related to the content that I'm posting both here as well as my, I wonder where that road goes. It says roadway unimproved, but I don't know where it's going to lead me. And I'm scared. Anyway, all that stuff is linked with this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my other primary channel, Steve the Amateur Historian, if you like this channel, you're going to love that one. So head on over there and subscribe. I would appreciate it and you'll, you'll be happy. So that's all that matters, right? YouTube happiness. Whew. So all that said, uh, this has been Steve, and I'll see you tomorrow.